Hey there guys, Tony here, CCXRC, and we've got the Bison on the bench. We're going to be doing some repairs to it in this video, show you how to replace the spur gear, because I've stripped mine out. Uh, I also had to put in a new arm bushing that holds the A-arm on. Basically, there's a pin that goes through, and uh, there's this plastic bushing that holds that pin in place, and it broke. So, uh, I already replaced that before this video, so I could get out and running, and that's when I stripped the spur gear but also show the repair that I did to the uh, bolt that runs through the front shock tower. Um, so I've had some issues with this thing, guys. It's not been perfect, but it's not been like any other RC car that I own. They break. I've broken every single one of my RC cars, except for the Tamiya Unimog, which doesn't go fast enough, I don't think, to break. But uh, the wheels come off of that, and I still have to tinker with it. These things require tinkering. So. I would just want to address something. People have been reaching out to me and talking about problems they're having with their bison. I'm cool with that. I will help you out as much as I possibly can and get you up and running. Uh, but, um, I, you know, I don't want anyone to feel like I was deceiving them. People have said, why do you keep making these videos of things, you know, sucks. I really don't think it sucks. Um, I think it's a great car. In fact, that's why I'm taking the time and I'm repairing this. If this was a piece of junk, I would have said, I don't like this at all. Here are all the issues with it. I wouldn't buy it. This one, I think, is good enough that I consider it one of the best cars in my arsenal, and I'm taking the time to fix it. What I do is, I've gone on and I've found all the parts for this on the Helion site. So I've gone to the Helion 410TR, downloaded their manual, I use their parts explosions and their uh, spare part uh, numbers, and I'm able to just go on Amazon and order them. So I got the new spur gear, I can get arms, I can get everything except right now that arm bushing, which I think is going to be the biggest problem people are having, uh, is that arm bushing breaking and uh, the, the front whole arm assembly kind of swinging loose uh, is back ordered, it's out of stock. And so what I want to do is I want to get a 3D printer so I can start printing off extra ones of those so that I'll have them uh, during this whole back order time and maybe supply you guys with some. I've already tried shipping to some to uh, somebody on Facebook and during the, uh, the mailing, I actually wrapped it up inside of a piece of paper so it wouldn't slide out if the envelope got a rip. Well, somehow that paper got a rip in it and the envelope and both of the bushings that I was sending him are gone. And so he doesn't have them and they're back ordered now after I ordered mine. So kind of a bummer. I want to help somebody out. I always want to help people out. And uh, now it's kind of hard. I was even going to go on Amazon and buy them for them, but they were back ordered. Um, so... I apologize again if, if you feel like I'm trying to mislead you. I'm not. Um, I really do, really, really like this car, and that's why I'm taking the time. We're going to open this thing up, and we're going to do some repairs, show you how to get in there and get at that spur here and get this fixed. But check out that Helian site, guys. There's a whole bunch of things on there, videos, how to work on these, how to replace things. I really don't even need to do this because their video is so good on replacing it, but we've got it here. I'll go ahead and do it. Um, they've got a lot of resources there, and this is the same basic roller as that car. The motors and electronics, all that are different, but the main roller that you're getting is the same thing. Um, so anyway, let's open this up and let's get a look at it. Alrighty guys, time for getting the bison on the bench. We're going to do a little bit of work on this thing, get it back up and running optimally. I've been beating it up really bad, and so it is time for repairs, just like any RC car needs after a while. So, it actually doesn't need that much. The first thing that I've already actually done to it is I put in a new arm bushing, and that sits right in underneath this uh, little plate here on the front. So right here is that plastic bushing. See that little black piece there? That is the bushing. It pushes through from the other side. It's hollow on the other side to receive that pin. It's got a little hole in it. And so when you assemble this, uh, this front metal brace with this on, it tightens down and clamps that in place. And so this is kind of easy to chew out if you get too much torque on it. And so that's what I'm talking about getting a 3D printer for so I can be able to replace this part pretty easily if I make up a, a plan for that and uh, make it available for printing your own. So here's where you can see what I've done. You can see there's different uh, color lock nuts on the front here of this. And so to hold this shock on, which I don't like, is they've got this spacer, a, a nut, and then it's on this long bolt here, and then there's a lock nut on the end. And right between this spacer and this uh, nut is kind of like a flex point where mine is snapped off. I've already snapped this one off, but I still found all the parts and I just put them back on. I uh, just put a new uh, bolt through it uh, that I got in a kit. It's an HPI version, and I just picked it up when I 
snap this off and then I got a bunch of little washers that I just stuck in here, little metal washers and uh, then I think this is a, just a Traxxas nut here from the front. Now, now on to fixing up that spur gear. There's a few things that we're going to have to take off of the car in order to get this in. So we're looking at our motor. Uh, if you remove one little Allen here, you can actually... I, I've noticed some people have been talking about issues and noises and things like that. One of the first things that you should check when you get your Bison in uh, is the gear mesh here. So I don't think I have that all the way out yet. There we go. So you take off this one little piece right here. Just a little guide or guard. And you can now see your pinion gear. And what's really actually pretty great about this setup is that you can move your motor pretty easily. You just loosen this one Allen bolt here and then your motor will rock in or out in order to get the mesh just right. Now there's been a couple people where it's not been the uh, the mesh that's been bad. It's that the actual pinion is either too far out or too far in and it's only really hitting half of that spur gear inside of there. So you want to make sure that they're lined up and that they're in there fairly close together, tight. You don't want it to be uh, too tight, of course, but uh, that's the first thing I would check when I get this in the mail before taking it out for some running. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to flip it over. To get at the spur gear, we're going to have to remove all of these pieces. So there's a uh, this rear bumper kind of thing here. It's the first thing, except it's over the top of this uh, other plastic piece. You remove those two things and then you'll be able to see your spur on the inside there. Let's see. So these are running at a 2.5 millimeter wrench to be able to get uh, the three, at least three of them out. Go. I do not have a pit mat, and pit mat would be nice. But what I do is I just take the screws when I get them out and I put them in the order that they are in. So it basically looks like a mirror image or an exact image of this, just not in the car. So I just kind of lay them out in that way. Especially when I don't have very many that I'm dealing with, I just kind of do that kind of a setup. So that they'll all be easy to put back in. I'm still looking for some metal spur gears for this because that would be fantastic to have. There was a model of this, I think they called it the Bison Pro, that supposedly had a metal uh, spur gear, but I have not been able to find that for sale on its own. Just kind of clips up and in, like so. And there we see what our problem is. All the teeth are just kind of chewed up. So, we'll come back to the top now, and we're going to remove this brace. Alright, so we've got two more here, and this should remove the chassis from the rear end. Alright, so because of the lights, I'm going to keep everything tight. We're just going to take off these uh, four different Allens here, which probably are smaller than I've got out. Yeah, so apparently I didn't have one of the nice handy screwdriver size ones for this small Allen. I think I broke it. Luckily there's just four of these. Now we're cooking. Alright, so what you do with this spur gear is you actually back it out and you spin it and there's openings so it'll slide right over like so. And so I've gone ahead and I've picked up the Hellion 410TR version is the HLNS 1054. It's a 32P 52T uh, spur gear. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to slap that on. Alrighty, again, so here's how these work. You've got these different openings here that'll slide right on over. And then you can twist it once it's on and fit it into place, like so. Now I'm going to be taking the old one out and seeing if I can't find something that'll match up and allow us to use uh, a metal spur gear instead because I'd really like with that 120 amp ESC, that big old brushless motor, I definitely want to get something that'll uh, be able to handle all of that power and I don't think that this plastic spur gear is the answer. 
All right, so that is back on. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna reassemble this thing. So we've gotta put our drive shaft back in place. There it goes, lined up. So this is where, what I was saying earlier about the uh, motor, we're actually gonna back out the motor to make this easier to slide in and not worry about the gearing here. So we're taking a quick look and just making sure everything's good. Everything looks lined up all right. So we're gonna set it back down here. And the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna put these uh, screws back in that'll hold it all together. They don't make this easy to be able to see in here and what your mesh is like. All right, so we've got it all fixed up. The wheelie bar's installed. It's looking good. It's rolling nice, and we're gonna get it back out and bashing again. So I apologize, guys, if uh, you feel like I've led you astray. It's not ever been my intention. It will not be in my intention with this channel. Um, it's really about moving this hobby forward, trying to find things for people that they'll like to run, trying to find good deals too. So. Uh, that's kind of where I'm at, and so we'll uh, we'll just keep making videos, keep running our seeds, and having fun. So, thanks for tuning in. As always, guys, we'll catch you next time. Have fun, RCing.